Hi, my name is Dr. Sean Johnston. If your first step out of bed, you're experiencing heel pain, you most likely have a condition called plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is the most common cause of heel pain in people. In fact, 10% of all people will experience plantar fasciitis at one time or another in their life. Plantar fasciitis used to be thought to be an inflammation of the tendon or the fascia at the bottom of the foot. But now, in the academic community, we are starting to see that it is more of a degeneration. So what does that mean? Well, that means that that fascia is being torn over time, not because of inflammation, but because of micro-tearing and abuse. There are several factors that contribute and make one more prone to having plantar fasciitis. One of those is being female. Females have been proven to have plantar fasciitis more than males. Another is obesity. Being overweight, putting more weight on that foot causes more degeneration like we talked about in the beginning, more micro-tearing of that fascia. Another contributing factor is being flat-footed. Having flat feet and having that rolled over position of the foot causes a more wear and tear of the fascia as one walks in their gait. Another example, and one that we've seen in our office quite a few times, is men who work offshore and they have to wear these certain type of boots or steel toed boots and they're on their feet all day long, especially on metal platforms. Another example are runners. These are a few examples of people who are more prone to having plantar fasciitis. There are four things that one can do to help combat or beat plantar fasciitis. One of those is soft tissue, two, stretching, three, exercise in the form of strengthening the bottom of that foot, and fourth is supplementation. Soft tissue or massage is one of the most effective ways in treating plantar fasciitis. You can do this at home uh, and also having a professional do this in regards to using their hands and tools. But at home, you can take a frozen bottle of ice water. So just take a bottle and put it on your foot and take that cold bottle and put pressure on it rolling back and forth. Stretching is very important when you are trying to defeat or combat plantar fasciitis. Here we have a TheraBand. You can take a belt, you can take a dog leash, whatever you have that can be able to be pulled. Somebody with plantar fasciitis usually has the tendency for their foot to fall, especially at night. That's why whenever they first wake up in the morning that this fascia has been shortened. You can see how this is lengthened, this is shortened. So somebody with plantar fasciitis, it makes sense that one thing that you would do to stretch it would be to take a band and to pull this back. You'll feel a stretch in the calf and you'll also feel a stretch in this fascia or in the foot. Do this once or twice a day, spending a minute and a half to two minutes each time that you do it, and you'll start to notice a difference in the tone of that fascia. Strengthening the foot is also important to helping plantar fasciitis, as we mentioned before. This exercise is called Vele's exercise. You look like a downhill skier as you're doing this exercise, and you will feel the bottom of that foot try to curl up as you perform this. The way that you perform it is that you try to keep your feet flat, stand about six to seven inches away from a wall, and then you lean forward keeping everything straight and trying to touch your nose to the wall and then coming back. So perform that slowly going forward and going back and as I mentioned you will feel that your foot doing a lot of work. That's good exercise for that fascia and that foot. There are three supplements that I want you to take to help combat and even beat plantar fasciitis. One of those is 500 milligrams of magnesium right before you go to bed. Another is vitamin B5. Vitamin B5 is a muscle relaxer, and you can also take it in conjunction with vitamin C to help that vitamin B5 get into your system. Also, last is omega-3s. Omega-3s help with inflammation. We did mention that plantar fasciitis is more of a degeneration problem of that fascia, but there is also some inflammation or inflammatory process at the bottom of the foot that we want to attack. 
If you or someone you know is suffering with plantar fasciitis, give us a call at Relief Plus. Our number is 337-565-4200, and you can find us at MyReliefPlus.com. We look forward to seeing you.